Why are calcium supplements a bad idea for most people? What should you do if someone tells you your iron is low? And let's clear up once and for all the misinformation about the hormone vitamin D3. Welcome back my friends. My name is Sarah. I am known as Carnivore Yogi. Thank you so much for being here and clicking on today's video. Today I have the owner of Upgraded Formulas, Barton Scott, who is also a chemical engineer as well as a nutritionist who's been working with clients for many years. We really wanted to clear up a lot of the misinformation going around about the hormone vitamin D3. And in the process of that, we also discussed things like anemia, and fertility. We also talked about why it's a bad idea to just take one supplement if you are low on that supplement. And I really hope that this information is informative. There are timestamps in the information section for you in case there is one topic that you want to skip to, or perhaps you hear that section once and you know you want to go back and listen to it again. I've already listened to this episode two times and taken extensive notes because I personally learned so much so that I hope you do as well. I do want to thank Barton and Upgraded Formulas for sponsoring today's episode. As we speak about in the end of the episode, the magnesium that Upgraded Formulas sells is actually different than your typical magnesium. And this is something I did not understand until Barton explained it to me. When you take a magnesium supplement, you want it to actually get into the red blood cell, and then you want it to be stabilized within that red blood cell. Most magnesium supplements are not small enough to actually get into the red blood cell. The particles are not small enough to be in there and they're not stable enough. That's why Upgraded Formulas has what's called nanotechnology. And so that's why I feel such a huge difference when I take Upgraded Formulas magnesium. I get deeper sleep. I never get cramps. I really don't get fatigue and I just love it. It's one supplement that if someone said, you could only take one supplement, I would keep my upgraded formulas magnesium. So it is different than a typical magnesium supplement, again, because the particles are actually small enough and stable enough to get into the red blood cell. And that's what helps us absorb it so much easier. It actually bypasses the gut. So thank you again to Barton and Upgraded Formulas for sponsoring this episode. You can use my code YOGI12 to save on anything on the upgraded website. We do talk about the hair tissue mineral analysis and consultation quite a bit in this episode and the practical applications of it, why you might wanna consider getting one of those. So that code YOGI12 is also good on anything on the website. So I hope you guys really do enjoy this episode and make sure you check out those timestamps. I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming back and tuning in. I'm really excited about today's guest. Barton Scott has been on the podcast before, so I'll make sure I link that episode below. But he is a friend and a sponsor of mine with Upgraded Formulas. I'm a huge believer in the products, a user of the products. So we want to talk a little bit about vitamin D today. So Barton, thank you for being here today. Uh, it's great to be back with you, Sharon. And yeah, vitamin D, what a good topic. What a, what a simple topic that so many people are getting wrong. Um, I just, right. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. Like it's, it's everywhere, everywhere you look, everyone says, take a uh, vitamin D3 with some K2. Everyone's pushing the supplements and I, I feel I, I'm very excited to hear your viewpoint on this, but it's been a hot topic on, uh, on my page and on my podcast for many, many yes. episodes now. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, so, so there's, there's so many good things, so many directions we could start with. I could start with saying that, you know, not everyone will absorb vitamin D supplementally. Um, that's an interesting one, but unless you're testing your genetics and you know for sure that you're not, you should supplement it, I think, and test your levels. Um, something that we've, if you listen to the first episode, you probably heard Sarah and I talk about tests don't guess. Mm -hmm. And that's something that that's a trademark that we actually own at Upgraded Formulas because it's so fundamental to how we approach things in the case of this. Now we don't, we don't make vitamin D 
um, at least not currently. Um, our, our specialization is getting minerals to absorb better in the body than anyone else and helping you figure out which ones you need uh, using your hair and detailed consultations. So, but, but Sarah and I were talking about this offline and we thought, you know, this is, this is valuable info. It doesn't have to be a super long episode, but this is something that, that, you know, people are struggling with and it's really important. And uh, vitamin D sales are, are, are going through the roof and people aren't supplementing it with the right thing. So I think really like, what should we talk about? What, what, what additionally, what should people know and understand? Right. So the, like you said, you know, you, you made a good point there. Plus, you know, what I said about, um, you know, just the genetic disposition <clears throat> outside of that, vitamin D. And I think this is just like the the most important point. So you should be taking in in order of things that I like have to have people understand vitamin D should be always taken with magnesium and, and K2 as well. Yeah. So K2 is going to help you uh, utilize it. Magnesium is going to ensure that the calcium channel doesn't stay open too long for cells in the brain. Um, Now, what happens there? Well, there's some research to show that you can have cell death, neuronal like death uh, in the brain. Um, And obviously, we want to avoid that. Uh, It's really alarming to me that that um, it's the only supplement that was recommended you know, it seems like by, you know, anyone in the quote unquote uh, medical field um, like Fauci and et cetera, I um, knowing, knowing that fact that I just stated, um, but that, I mean, that's something we've known for a long time. That's not like a, Oh, we figured this out last year. No, we've, we've known that for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, I I think a lot of knowledge like the, you know, is just like not well dispersed, but that's really key. That's just, you know, physics, chemistry in, inside the, the body. And then what else? So to utilize magnesium, some, a lot of people that we see when we look at their hair test, um, they are low in B6 is something we, we can infer, even though we're not testing directly for it, we can infer it. Uh, and just, in, it, it makes sense, right? Because B6 is not a stimulating B vitamin. It helps with adrenal support. And, uh, so the, to, you want to utilize that magnesium that you're taking with the vitamin D or D3. And then the, the only, the, the other point I, I'd like, so I guess I'll pause there and, you know, I, I think that's, that's really valuable for people to understand. Right. So. Yeah. And I've, I've been reading a lot about this topic and there's some evidence that I've found that if you just take the D3, that it will actually deplete your magnesium. Is that, that's what you're saying, correct? Yeah. Um, so the way this, yes, the way this, this works from, from my understanding, um, you know, being a product developer and, you know, having a background in chemical engineering, minor in chemistry, being a nutritionist, working with patients for years, I, um, <laughs> yes, that's definitely the case. The, so vitamin D3, it's a, it acts like a hormone. We call it a vitamin, but yeah. it acts like a hormone, right? And, and then, you know, what does that hormone do? It causes, well, it causes calcium levels to rise in the body, right? So we mentioned that. So by taking magnesium, you're also balancing blood sugar, which is really cool because calcium to magnesium, that ratio is something we look at in our, our hair testing that we offer our, uh, our patients that upgraded formulas. So And anyone can come to the site, you just order the kit and it ships to you. So, and it goes off to one of our labs, you get your results via email, um, just to give people an idea of how that works. And um, with, with that understanding, so we have D3, we have magnesium, we have B6. Um, Yeah, you, it's one of the, the really deleterious things about your health is is having high calcium levels. Yeah. One of the, the last things I want for anyone on a, on a, a hair test and, and we can correct it by, by supplementing, by supplementing magnesium, by 
supplementing phosphorus foods that are high in phosphorus, uh, even phosphorus supplementation. So, so that's and I'm really- just like one thing I have so many clients that when I see them the first time, they'll show me their list of supplements. So many people are still taking calcium supplements and that's the first thing I have to talk them out of. I'm like, please stop taking the calcium supplement. If you're worried, I would love for you to, cause I have all my clients anyway, go do a hair test with you guys and a consultation. I'm like, do the HTMA. I would be willing to bet you money that you are not low in calcium and that you taking the calcium is actually depleting your magnesium and causing a bunch of other issues. So I think this like, so, you know, people need calcium supplementation is just, it's really harmful to people. It, and to tack on to that, um, I'm glad we went into this a bit deeper. Calcium, when it's, when it's high in the body, it does a couple things. It, um, well, you can, in, in no particular order, <laughs> You could you can have blood vessels that um, like you can lead to aneurysm more easily, like build up in um, artery walls. But the the thing that that is more quickly noticed is stiffness in joints, mm-hmm. uh, lower energy, and probably the the thing I'm I'm at war against the most is nutrient absorption. So when you have a high calcium shell pattern, that's called. Um, you'll, you'll be less likely to take in any other nutrient into the cell because the calcium is just sort of calcifying around, uh, the cells, you know, electromagnetically. And, um, you know, you wonder if you go to yoga or if you work, if you're stretching, you're loosening up before you work out, or if you feel really, really stiff, um, this is, yeah, it's, it's certainly a problem. And then calcium to potassium is another ratio we look at yet another ratio we look at on the hair analysis where that is an insight into thyroid function Mm. this this overall ratio so you know calcium and parathyroid work together Um, too much calcium again there is not not good either Um, and then uh, yeah so and then that obviously is going to have an effect on adrenal function um so this, this, you know, it's all working in a loop. What else? The other thing I think that we, we have to mention is um, the entourage, like all your fat soluble vitamins. So I've seen some research and it just makes sense that your fat soluble vitamins, if you're taking a lot of vitamin D and you're getting no vitamin A, which is good for your, for, good for eyes, uh, good yeah. for a number of different things. Um, no vitamin A, no vitamin E, um, then, you know, what do you think are happening to those levels? You think they're just staying? Well, the way the body works with, with all vitamins and minerals is there's a synergistic and antagonistic effect. So, and, and just think about it in levels, the body, uh, if you're getting a lot of something, it, you know, it, it will try to balance it in some way, but you know, for example, if you're taking a lot of magnesium, you're going to start to push, uh, sorry, you're taking a lot of calcium, you're going to start to push magnesium out. Now, magnesium is a lot harder to get in the diet than calcium. Calcium is very ubiquitous. It's very easy to get calcium on a daily basis from food, um, especially in relationship to magnesium. So even if you're getting not enough calcium, you're probably, you're like eight out of 10 chance every single day to not get out enough magnesium in your diet. Um, that's for everyone. And then potassium, you know, as it relates to thyroid function, 2% of people, 2% of people get enough potassium on a daily basis. Wow. And that's every day. That's every day. And then people, if you're doing like low carb carnivore keto, Mm -hmm. it's, you're not getting enough. I've had this like discussion so many times with people. It's like, check your, get your potassium check, get the HTMA. You need the consultation to understand if you actually have enough potassium. And that's another one with people that I think most people that I've worked with at this point have had low potassium. And I definitely did before I started doing the hair test myself. And I would have all these kind of crazy symptoms and come to find out once I got my potassium back online, they all went away. I mean, it was, it's, wow. it's pretty remarkable. Yeah. They test don't guess, right? Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. You know, our intuition, that's a beautiful, I'm so glad you shared that because I, I hadn't 
you hadn't told me that uh, yet. And, but I love, I love hearing that because, you know, our, our thyroid function is, is will, will be depressed, will be low. And therefore our tendency to be cold, uh, yeah. cold hands, cold feet, sluggish uh, elimination. So therefore reabsorption of toxins. So sluggish elimination, you're not going to the bathroom as often as you eat. If you're eating twice a day, you should go to the bathroom twice a day. Uh, that's good elimination. Um, and, and I, and I say elimination and not digestion. I, I think a lot of people really confuse those. Um, but digestion is you actually having the enzymes to digest your food, the minerals to digest your food, the minerals to activate those enzymatic pathways. And then, you know, elimination is just actually getting rid of the toxins so they don't get reabsorbed into the bloodstream, causing an uptick in, or a change, maybe a, actually a down, uh, right, tick in pH, so then your body has to buffer that somehow, usually, usually using minerals if your pH is in off and pulling it from places like organs and bone marrow. So, yeah, it's um, it, it's an important area for people to understand. So I, I think yeah. hopefully this this provides some light. So, yeah, you know, vitamin D is important. Yes, it's not going to solve everything. Uh, you do want to have your levels, um, you know, just moderate, like somewhere between 40 and 80 um, uh, nanograms per deciliter. That's an easy $40 test at a, uh, you know, lab works. Uh, you can Google that and, you know, usually order the test yourself even. Um, yeah, I have this. Uh, I do this. It's called Let's Get Checked and you can just yeah. order it online. Mm -hmm. And I just did mine the other day to get it rechecked. I check every six weeks or so just because I want to see if what I'm doing is working, mm -hmm. um, cause I'm not supplementing right now, I'm just doing sunshine and I have a spare D vitamin D lamp and a red light. And, yeah. um, so I've been keeping my levels up pretty high without any supplementation at all, but I I've been testing every six weeks just to make sure that that's that plan of action. What I'm doing is actually working. So yeah, people should Ooh. definitely, I was a 33 when I checked it in May mm -hmm. and I was like, oh gosh, that's, mm -hmm. that's bad. <laughs> you yeah. know, I had no idea what my levels were and I tested them and uh, immediately, you know, thank God it was in May. Cause that's when I started to just change things and go out in the sun and just, you know, in the summer is a good time to find out you've got a low level like that at this time of year that we're recording this. If you're at a 33, not really the best time of year to find out that you've got that low of a number, right? Sure. Yeah. 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 Um, maybe talk to people. I, I can add in some about those, the two light uh, sources that you, you mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's, those are things you want to use. You know, you want to have a health coach to guide you on how to use those. Cause mm -hmm. I see a lot of people just recommending them and you can, overdo those and cause burn on your body and issues like that. I've worked with people um, and I do work with people as well to kind of help advise them on how to use those devices because they're mm -hmm. just, you know, they're not something you just want to play around with <laughs> without sure. knowing how to use them. Yeah. Sure. So, so you mentioned red light and then the other one for, for people. Uh, Sparity vitamin D lamp. Sparity vitamin D. Yeah. So the, the other thing I wanted to mention about red light is, um, that red light from, and I, I heard a great presentation on this. So I, I was speaking at Biohacking Congress this past uh, weekend in Miami. And then uh, one of the other speakers uh, was speaking in red light. And one of the, the points that, that he made is that red light, if you're before going outside, you know, the red light can actually prepare your cells to absorb, yes. uh, which is really cool. Because yeah. and it makes sense, right? You're, you're activating your mitochondria. Um, and, and then of course, when you have all these little nano engines whirling in your body and you go out and you process better, which is cool. Yeah. That's why sunrise right. is a non-negotiable for me because that's how I prepare my body to receive the light. That's how I doubled my vitamin D in like eight weeks was sunrise every single day. Um, and you, you know, that's like a natural red light that you get that in your eyes. You've got the melanopsin receptors, 90% of the receptors are in your eyes. So if you have that flowing into your eyes every single morning, your body is a lot more apt to be able to absorb, uh, the, the D from the sun. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I, I would add to that, just go out on breaks, uh, yes. on your, on your work breaks. You know, if you're working, you know, 30 minutes at a time, like the Pomodoro method is 25 minutes, five minute break, go out for five minutes. You know, it's time to like, it's time enough to go out, you know, walk a couple hundred yards, turn around, come back. You feel, you'll probably have an idea, a breakthrough, a reduction in stress. Um, you'll realize that you don't need to reach for that cup of coffee. You'll realize that your mood is elevated because you're outside. Um, just even eating outside is a good idea. Yes. Uh, and, and eating whenever there's light and not eating yeah. when there's not light. The yeah. A hundred percent. I mean, I'm sitting here, I don't have my blue blockers on, but I've got my window open mm -hmm. and that's what I tell clients. It's like, get outside. Everyone else gets to take smoke breaks. You need to be yeah. taking light breaks. We need to be outside yeah. bare feet on the grass. And, uh, you know, I'm one thing I wanted to, to talk with you about is I don't think people really understand how the body actually works as like this, um, electrical system. I've been, you know, since interviewing Dr. Cruz and just talking to a lot of people kind of in his camp mm -hmm. and reading the body electric by Bob Becker, yeah. um, and just not really understand right. how we have this whole electrical system running in the body and how do those minerals really play into that system and keeping us hydrated because we think about water as hydration, which yeah, there's, definitely you got to drink water, but how do minerals play into to all of that in that electrical system? Yeah. So, so minerals activate all the enzymes that we need to, to work in the body. So with, without minerals, the vitamins that we take in are, are just not going to be utilized. They'll, they'll be useless. Really. Uh, we need those those, the minerals. Um, and then the downside effect is that to some degree of extreme reduced efficiency, heavy metals can activate those enzymes. Mm. What that means is that, uh, if you're low in minerals, you can have heavy metals that get into places like your bones. And then it's really, really difficult to get those out. Um, as you can imagine, you know, I think all the cells turn over in your bones, something like every seven years, seven years. Yeah. 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 So, um, there's, and then there's the toxicity that comes with that. So that's one way, but there's mineral, many ways that minerals protect you from heavy metals from actually absorbing as easily. They can actually help you push them out. So you can think of them as, as the good guys and heavy metals as the bad guys. And you want to be waging war, um, you know, proactively each day, uh, or, you want to just be pre proactive and, and know that if you're not being proactive, it's kind of, it's kind of like, well, if you're not choosing a positive thought, you're probably choosing a negative thought. You're probably ruminating instead of thinking of, well, what could I have the, what could the future be? What could my, how could I feel in seven weeks if I do this thing uh, consistently? Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's, so I, I, I think about it, you know, the other things that raise that vibrational frequency, you know, you know, light is a big one, water is a big one, just emotion. So gratitude is a set point in the morning, the evening, you know, the, it goes hand in hand with, with, you know, when we're starting our day and ending our day, it's, it's, it's a good primer. So yeah, this is, this is really what I, I would, I would suggest to, you know, friends and family that, that ask me the same questions is, is this exact sort of protocol uh, that we mentioned. So I, I hope this is really helpful for people. Yeah, definitely. Um, so just to kind of reiterate what you're saying, if we are eating all this amazing food, right, we're spending money on the grass fed beef and all the things, but we don't have sufficient minerals in the body, yeah. we're not going to necessarily absorb the nutrients from the food. Is that much right. what you're saying yeah 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 unfortunately that that is the case um and you know our you you look at a pound of grass-fed beef and it it has something like 40 percent of the nutrients it had 80 years ago yes because of our uh, depletion in the soil right yeah so we so that's really key um for any women that are either wanting to get pregnant or 
or, you know, in that phase or thinking about it, uh, lactating, uh, or, you know, even just if you're using formula, uh, iodine is really essential too. And that's not something we're getting, um, uh, in terms of soil. That's something I, I, I like to mention and around, you know, brain development for, for little ones. And, uh, yeah, it's just so key, you know, I think I mentioned in our first podcast, but up to 20 point lower IQs for, for children that have iodine deficiencies. And it's very, it's very fixable. Um, but, you know, starting something like nine months out is a really good idea. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's, that's key. It's important. Uh, and that is, I would say, you know, certainly any woman would be really, you know, and, and also men too, um, you know, because, uh, sperm is, is certainly driven by minerals. Um, mm-hmm. and if you have low zinc, low magnesium, sperm quality is not going to be what it could be for sure. Um, right. we're actually working on a, um, a, a male supplement as well. Um, there'll be, you know, around, uh, you know, in this area, because it, it, whether you're trying to get pregnant or not, um, guys that are, uh, I guess, you know, just to say, say it as it is, guys that are ejaculating too often will be low in zinc. They'll be low in magnesium and uh, their drive will be a lot lower. We, you know, we've heard about semen retention and things like this. Um, there's, a, there's a reason why um, you feel really relaxed after and, and uh, there, you know, that, that's great, obviously, but you also want to be, you don't want to be fuzzy and, you know, um, kind of in a daze after, which is the case for, for men there having, I'm not going to say having sex too often if <laughs> they can somehow separate the two, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, really key. And that's, um, that, I mean, that's, that's for, for guys of, of any age. And then, so understanding your levels, doing a hair test, uh, understanding, I mean, because then, thing down like symptoms you could be going oh well i need to be on adderall because i can't focus well you can't focus because uh you're ejaculating too often and then on the female side it's not really that's not an issue like orgasming is not an issue it's not um it's bleeding. Just, yeah it, but bleeding you know it's such a key yeah. it's such a key thing uh it's just that making sperm is so energy intensive so, yeah so that's um that's a whole nother topic. I didn't think we'd get into, but Hey, there, there it is. And it's really important. And I have not heard anyone talk about it. So, um, no, they're not, people are not talking about really this mineral thing in general, really. It's just Mm -hmm. the, let's get the macros, right. Let's get the calories, right. Let's get the food, right. Right. And, you know, the one thing that I was going to mention is you talked about the soil being depleted. I take flack a lot of times, you know, when I talk about minerals, and they're like, oh, well, you're doing carnivore, keto, low carb, and that's why you're having these issues. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, first of all, I'm not that way 100% of the time. I do have refeed days, so I'm not doing that you know, 100% of right. the time. But second of all, everyone that's eating from our food system, if they're eating from our food system, which obviously they are, they're still alive, <laughs> they're yeah. going to have some sort of mineral issue because... The soil that we have now, if you eat an orange now, you would have to eat seven oranges in order to have like the same orange that your grandmother did in terms Mm. of the mineral content. And Mm -hmm. people are just completely missing the boat on that. It's not Mm. net. It's going to show up quicker because you're doing a low carb carnivore keto because you're losing more water. So it's more obvious to you but you're not necessarily more depleted than someone who's just eating a standard American diet. Right. 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 Yeah. It's just, it's just, you know, more important, uh, but it's certainly not. um, Yeah. They're, they're not like, I I would say they're not doing better. They're just not taking as hard of a test. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cause they, they're not losing the water. So it's like, You just can't tell as quickly. Yeah. Right. When I was uh, when I was in uh, in Mexico recently uh, on a just a, like a, a traveling sort of surf vacation, exploring some of the interior, uh, I ate the most nutrient rich banana, really the 
therefore like the only banana I've ever eaten in my life or the first really. And I was full after, uh, yeah. just about, I mean, granted I wasn't like super hungry, but it was so nutrient dense Sarah, because of the soil being so rich. Yes. The soil was this like reddish purple. Wow. And I looked at it and I was like, wow, are you kidding me? I was stunned. And I, and I get to see everything growing around there and, you know, we're buying some different snacks and whatnot. And, you know, we're in the car and we're up in the mountains at 8,000 feet and uh, like beautiful parts of Mexico that, that just, I think most people don't know exist. And um, it was, it was really interesting to just go, wow, for like five cents, I got this, this quote unquote banana, which is a totally different fruit than I've been used to eating my, my life in my whole lifetime. So, and it's, it's, what is that from? Well, it's from the nutrients in the soil. What nutrients specifically? The minerals. Right. Uh, so yeah, it's just, it's just like the body electric. It's the soil electric. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's uh, the physics and chemistry that rule our planet. So uh, we, we should get good at, at, at least paying attention to it, if not understanding it. Um, but the, you know, that's why we use a tool like a hair test you get to see all of them in relationship to each other it's it's great if you only if you know your iron level but in relationship to copper you really right. need to know that you really need to know that uh, because if if we say oh your iron is quote unquote low but you have no idea what the copper level is doctors can kill people by or make them incredibly sick but yeah absolutely kill them by by supplementing iron and driving out copper even more yeah. Um, so this is, or make them so sick that they're just like not even enjoying being alive. That's, that's a easy, easy statement. So yeah, um, it's, it's all about balance and it's, it's about having that map and that, you know, if you, if you hop on with us, we have a subscription option. You can test every three months with a consultation for like before your discount, even for like $159, um, and, you know, unless we raise prices, but that's a deal for getting a map of, of what's going on because you get an insight into adrenal function, into thyroid function, into blood sugar, into your viral and bacterial susceptibility with zinc and copper. Um, and you just learn a lot about your health and in a way that is proactive, in a way that, that gives you more power and control over your health, not less. So, yeah. yeah and I, I think that people don't really understand just like what you were saying with the doctor giving you iron supplements. That was the case for me. Mm -hmm. uh, my whole life, I was anemic and I had to they'd give you the iron supplements and they never helped. And so I just would kind of like throw them behind the couch. My mom would give them to me and I would like throw them behind the couch wow. and she never <laughs> found them until we moved. I did that with antibiotics too. I was like notorious for like nice. throwing meds behind the couch. I just as a kid, just intuitively did that. Uh -huh. But it, when right. I did my first hair test with you guys, I was low in copper mm. and I was, and I had always had really bad histamine issues and, you know, and everyone's like, you need zinc, you need zinc, you need zinc. And it would turned out that I didn't need zinc, that I needed more copper in my diet. And so working with you guys and doing the hair test, this is the first fall. And I've done a lot of other things as well, you know, gotten mm -hmm. my get tons of light, always eat outside. I've got a window open all the time. I mean, I do a, a ton of stuff and some digestive enzymes, but no histamine issues this year. And Yay! it's a miracle. I had no idea okay. that the, the copper played such a huge part in, yeah. in that for people, you know? It activates those enzymes, those enzymatic pathways are so critical. I'm so glad you figured that out. The other yeah. thing is that you know, copper does help you get pregnant too. Uh, that yeah. balance, right? Because copper is estrogen. Copper regulates estrogen. Zinc is testosterone, progesterone, and that's that's really really key. So that that can help a lot of a lot of women out there as well, and also the men too that are like together they they want a family, right? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, we need to look at fertility as a male and female thing. And oh uh, yeah, definitely. And and we don't currently. No. Uh, no. So uh, hopefully that 
also helps people. It's like also become the fertility ep- episode, <laughs> <laughs> um, which is great. Yeah. But um, yeah, we it's really good. Uh, anything else you, you want to cover today? Yeah, just a couple other little thoughts I had. You know, if you're watching this and you're kind of like, what are they talking about with things being in relation to each other? Um, I would suggest looking Google mineral wheel and look at this big wheel of minerals and how they're all correlated to one another. So that's why you don't want to just take an iron supplement or just take these supplements if you don't know that you actually need them. Because like Barton has been saying, you're going to throw off other processes in your body and just going back to the original topic, I didn't realize like the fat soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K, I didn't realize that that was Mm -hmm. a similar process. So if you're just taking D, you could be throwing off the A and the E and the K, all those, right? Is that what you're basically saying? Yeah, I think particularly A and and E, um, you know, it's just something you want to be cognizant of. So yeah, it's really good. And, And we do with our hair tests, you know, we're looking at minerals and heavy metals. We're not looking at vitamins directly, but if someone is really low calcium, we can, we can be very confident their vitamin D level is low too. Mm. So that's another cool check that way. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's just something else to add on there. Cool. And then one other question I had on this topic that you talked about in the very beginning was just the genetic predisposition Mm -hmm. um, in relation to D. Could you expand on that a little bit? Because I do have people that are like, I'm supplementing, I'm not, it's not helping. Yeah. So what what I would have people do, I mean, there are more cost effective, or I mean, there are more expensive ways to do this, but work with someone uh, that you know, is, is skilled at interpreting genetic reports, uh, because, you know, there it's good and all to have your, your data from something like 23 and me, and then you pop it yeah. in something like live um, and, and then at that point you still have a lot of like head scratching to do. So you want to work with someone and, and see not only that, but see your comp T gene, you, you want to see, um, you know, just a number of different things, your methylation pathways, your, um, just your elimination pathways. So how do you detox? Um, how can you support yourself there? These are all really, really good things to understand. So I I can just put that all in one big circle and say, check on that too. Um, but you know, regardless of that, that's going to tell you the story of what should be not the story of what is the hair test will show you the story of what is. That's why I really first and foremost want to lead with that because, all right, well, you know, pre no one has a predisposition. It's going to keep them, keep them from absorbing minerals. Like you need to, you have to have it. It's elemental. Um, With the cool thing with minerals is if you have enough light, if you have enough water and you have minerals, including salt, your body is going to make the vitamins you need by pulling from body fat. Um, so I was able to do a long 11 day fast uh, when I had an injury and I just immediately started fasting. I'm not suggesting people do that. I'll write about that uh, soon. I am writing about it and uh, just the takeaways and the lessons and how to do that without pain. So yeah, that was, that was key, but that kind of, I think frames it. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel like we talked about a lot of great stuff. One other little question I had out of that was, so just so I understand if someone is taking say like D three K two even, and their levels are still not going up. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there's a mineral issue where they should probably go ahead with a hair test and see if there's Mm -hmm. some sort of a mineral imbalance and that's why they're not absorbing the, uh, the D three K two, or if they're going out in the sun all the time and they're like sure. t- tan is all get out. I've had these clients as well, but their vitamin D is still a 30. Do you mm-hmm. think that's a mineral deficiency? I, yeah, I think that, you know, the body is going to utilize all vitamins, including vitamin D better through this like very complex, you know, mult, <laughs> 
you know, multi uh, factorial set of interactions. Um, so by balancing as many things as you, as you can work on balancing, you absolutely will increase your chances. Ge you know, ge genetics aside, uh, you'll put the odds in your favor um, of just of absorbing it, of having more energy, um, of being able to wake up earlier naturally so that you can get that sunlight earlier in the morning. So maybe yeah. they're getting sun, but they're getting sun at the last hour of the day or That's something every day for an hour. <laughs> it's not the same. It's not the same, is it? Yeah. Mm -mm. So they can be really tan as all get out, as you said. And then it's just not this hormonally. It's not the same. So. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah, if you're, if you're only going to go out for that paddleboard session, then you can only do morning or evening, do morning. Yeah. Um, if you can go out multiple times a day, do that. If you can take your shirt off. Great. Um, if you can, you know, expose more skin to the sun. Great. You know? Um, so yeah, yeah. Really good. Yeah, I just did an interview with someone recently and they said for like every minute you can spend outside before 11 o'clock in the morning is like putting money in your health bank account. Like you should mm. be out there for sunrise and then as much time as you can spend outside before 11 a.m. is mm. so much more beneficial than if you just stay inside all day and not go out until four o'clock. Like you were just saying, it just it it really fixes your hormones in a different different way. Yeah, cleaner air too. The air is yeah. going to be cleaner, oh, yeah. even a polluted city outside that will be inside. Uh, so that's that's key by up to many multiples. So it's not even close. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, can you think of anything else? I feel like we had such a great talk yeah. about just these basic uh, things. I think this is a, a really valuable, like, you know, set of info for, for people. It's probably worth. Uh, listening to again, I, you know, if any of it was new and I know a lot of it, it's a good chance was because, you know, I, am, I just don't hear very, I don't really hear people talking about the topics we mentioned. So, so that's yeah. cool. And then share it with like 10 people um, because I don't hear anyone like doing this right. Um, no. You know, so, and it's, I mean, it's the hormonal build, building blocks is what minerals are what fats are. Um, you just don't, you'll never have optimal hormones. You'll never have optimal health without dialing all these things in. So, yeah. I agree. I totally agree. So yeah, this is my big takeaway in what I'm seeing a lot of on social media is take this supplement, take this supplement, this supplement does that, that supplement does that, but nobody ever, like you did so well, just in this chat talks about the relation of those things to one another. Kind of like mm -hmm. what I said with you guys go Google mineral wheel, look at how complex this system is. That is how your body works. It's not just this put something in and get something out system. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Really cool. Cool. Yeah. Well, Thank you guys, all the, all of Barton's information is going to be linked below as well as if you want to check out the hair tissue mineral test with a consultation, I highly recommend. And I'm very addicted to your magnesium. Um, <laughs> please don't ever get rid of that. I keep uh -huh. it like stocked, like buy as many, like five, six bottles at a time and keep it stocked. I just, I love it. So I'm a huge Beautiful. fan. Yeah. Oh, that, that is something I mentioned for people. I'm so glad that you said that because I like supplements. I always travel with magnesium, our upgrade magnesium is one of them for sure. Um, yeah. I woke up in the middle of the night last night, which is kind of rare for me, but um, if you have a lot on your mind that can happen regardless of supplementation. And I took some more of the liquid magnesium. I went back to sleep, had some really good dreams. That's one of the ways you know that, that your magnesium oh, yes. depleted is if you don't dream deeply often, I mean, really often, that's one way. Um, and it, it really helps you process things, uh, when you're dreaming and you're remembering your dreams and you're like able to sort through things. And, uh, I always say, we're, we're not responsible for the quality of your dreams, just that we help you have them. Um, and I, I haven't found any other magnesium product besides the one we've developed uh, that helps you dream as deeply and helps a lot with cramps, um, whether it's leg cramps or PMS cramps or you know anything around the cycle. Um, it's, it's really key. Um, I've seen it knock out cramps and 
under five minutes. So yeah. Sure. Any kind of like tightness, fatigue, like achy mm -hmm. stuff going on. I am always like straight to the magnesium and it's, yeah, it's really remarkable how well it works. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess, I guess the last thing, since we didn't touch on it. So for anyone that is nodding going like, Oh yeah, I know magnesium. This is different. All of our minerals are different. That's the reason why I started the company is because I was taking minerals, really good brands, like physician grade stuff. I had been doing it for over a year and a half. I wasn't absorbing it. And I, I was really worried about my health. I had severe levels of brain fog and, um, that is why we have the solutions today. It's not about forms. We can take any form of magnesium, your favorite form, all forms, put it through our process. It won't make a difference because of particle size it's small enough to get into the red blood cell. We're talking, uh, you know, at least a thousand times smaller than a red blood cell as the wow. particle size of, of our minerals. Um, and we figured out how to stabilize it so that you don't even have to shake our liquids. Um, they, they're dosed, they're dosed out. And, um, so that's, that's really cool. And, you know, as far as the proof you get to see in your hair analysis, when your levels start to rise, like, Oh, wow, this is working. You get to feel better, um, and have more energy and sleep better. So it all goes, all goes together. Um, but yeah, it's really important to understand. I'd say just try it. And I think you'll see the difference. So. Yeah, I am. I stand behind that a hundred percent. So yeah. awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Thank this you. was fun. Yeah, it was fun. We'll definitely have to do it again. I'm sure we'll get some feedback and some questions. And so maybe we can, we can yeah. plan another one sometime soon. Sure thing. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. Awesome. Great coming on with you, Sarah. Thank you.